begin by finding a position of your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's seated in a chair or a cushion. Maybe it's lying down or another posture. In any case, establish your body in a position that feels comfortable. Make any adjustments you need to and settle into that comfort. Having become comfortable in your body, allow your body to relax. If there's any muscular tension present anywhere in your body, see if you can gently invite it to relax. the jaws and the shoulders, the arms and the legs are all good places to look for subtle tension that may have accumulated during the day. If you find that any part of your body is tight or tense, gently invite it to relax. And notice what that feels like, being relaxed in your body, being comfortable in your body. There's a flavor or taste associated with comfort and relaxation in the body. So notice and enjoy that flavor. If you'd like, if it feels good for you, bring a gentle, easy smile to your face. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. When we smile, chemicals are released into our nervous system. Gently move us towards happiness. And so we can encourage that process by bringing a gentle, easy smile to our faces. And with these three steps, becoming comfortable in the body, relaxing, and smiling, it's as if we've entered a place, the place where we do loving kindness practice. And you can always return here if you become uncomfortable or tight or your smile fades. 
you can return. Enjoy being here for another moment. Very good. Now, having prepared the body for loving kindness practice, let's prepare the mind. Reflect on things in your life that you can feel grateful for. It could be anything at all, something big or something small something special or something ordinary. It could be one thing or many things. Reflect on things that make you feel grateful. Reflect on these things in your mind, using your mind to consider things that make you feel grateful. And as you reflect on these various things, notice if that feeling arises in your body, if there's any response in the emotional body And if there is, really enjoy that. Delight in the feelings of gratitude that arise. Continue to reflect on things that you can feel grateful for, for another moment. And as you feel ready, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Maybe it's a friend or family member, a loved one in your life. Maybe it's a small child or a pet. Could even be someone imaginary, a character in a book or movie that you like. 
or just imagining an animal that makes you happy. It doesn't really matter so much who you choose. Simply bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love towards. You're easy to love person or animal. Visualize this person in your mind. And imagine them being happy. Perhaps smiling if they're a human or laughing. Running around if they're a small dog or meowing if they're a cat. You can choose what you visualize. Just imagine them being happy. Again, as you consider this easy to love person or animal, if there's any response in the body, if you feel a sense of love or care or happiness arising, notice that and really enjoy it. If not much is happening, no problem. Consider trying something different, a different person or a different way of visualizing them. Or you could even use mental talk to intend happiness for them. Saying a phrase that inspires a sense of love and happiness for you. Try making a change if need be. Continue to reflect on this easy to love person or animal, wishing them well, wishing them happiness for another moment. Very good. Now we're going to practice a skill of encouraging ourselves. It's very common that we have difficult things in our lives that we have to do or try or learn. And it's helpful to have the skill of encouraging ourselves. Cheering ourselves on being our own best cheerleaders. So we're simply going to practice saying encouraging things to ourselves, using mental talk in our minds for the remainder of the practice period.
your challenge is to say phrases in your mind that are encouraging to yourself. Maybe it's the same phrase over and over again, or maybe it's many different phrases. Again, it doesn't really matter so much how you do it. Feel free to make it your own. So you could say something like, you can do it, or I love you, or you've got this over and over again or many different phrases. Simply practice encouraging yourself. Be sure that you can hear a series of phrases in your mind. That might sound something like this. Here we go. You got this. This is going great. You're doing wonderfully. Love you so much. Something like that in your mind. Maybe different phrases, maybe the same phrase. But be sure that you can hear these phrases in your mind. Really encourage yourself. If it helps, you can imagine yourself being in a situation you might be likely to find yourself in, like doing a difficult exercise or preparing to give a presentation at work, some situation you'd actually be likely to be in. The most important thing is to practice encouraging yourself. Be sure that there's a continuous stream stream of mental talk in your mind. If you find that that fades, you might try something different, different phrase, a different approach, making an adjustment. Trying many different phrases if you've been staying with just one or switching to just one phrase if you've been doing many different phrases. Keep practicing, keep encouraging yourself.
for many of us, there are often difficult phrases that we find within our own minds, critical, negative self-talk. So this is an opportunity to practice being loving to ourselves, being encouraging to ourselves, saying the phrases that we need to hear so that when it's difficult, we've practiced that skill and we can encourage ourselves. Use your mind, use mental talk, phrases that you can actually hear in your own mind to encourage yourself. Here we go. You got this. Doing great. Just keep going. Again, if there's any felt sense of enjoyment or satisfaction as you encourage yourself, notice that and really enjoy it. Delight in the happiness that comes from encouraging yourself.
continue to practice encouraging yourself for another moment. Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you face any challenges? Did you learn anything new? Take a moment to look back and reflect. And as you're ready, at your own pace, come out of the meditation. 